let's work on some mass percents now okay so we'll take it forward and backward which means we will find the mass percent of compounds and then we'll take the percents and find the formula so the first question that I would like to do then is a simple straightforward one what is the percent composition of Mg2SiO4 so which means you're going to find the percent composition of each element okay in it so how do we approach it the first thing to do is find the formula um, the formula mass okay for this entire compound so Mg2SiO4 has two of magnesium one of silicon and four of oxygen okay so you go ahead and do that calculation which is 2 times 24.311 1 times 28.09 and 4 times 16.00 again I'm going to round off a little bit over here so then um, the masses here are 48.62 28.09 and then 64 0, 0. final mass is 140.71 grams per mole no rounding off right now um, and it's a good way to start this way where you have uh, the grams per mole of magnesium grams per mole of silicon and then grams per mole of oxygen separate because you're going to need that for the mass percent okay and so now we'll just take it one at a time so percent of magnesium is going to be 48.62 divided by 140.71 and this is of course all times 100 percent and this is equal to 34.55 percent magnesium the percent of silicon is going to be similar which means that 28.09 divided by 140.71 multiplied by 100% and the percent of silicon then is 19.96% and finally the percent of oxygen which is going to be 64.00 divided by 140.7 multiplied by 100% and this is equal to 45.48 percent oxygen okay the best thing to do is go ahead and add all the percents and you should come up with hundred percent okay um, that is a good cross check but otherwise here is your final answer these are the percents of uh, all the elements in mg2 sio4 okay and that's how you set this up now we will go ahead and take a problem where we actually have to calculate the formula um, the formula okay from percent so now we're going to do a reverse of this so um, here's the problem dolomite has 21.73 percent calcium 13.18 percent magnesium 13.03 percent carbon and 52.06 percent oxygen what is the empirical formula remember the empirical formula is the lowest uh, mole ratio okay of all the elements in here now um, as we talked about okay that we should have a hundred percent of all of this so if you want you can start with that so here's the strategy 21.73 percent calcium plus 13.18 percent magnesium plus 13.03 percent carbon plus 52.06 percent oxygen all of this should give you a hundred percent if it does not then we have a problem okay so check this first really quickly and now the second thing is to convert percents two grams okay which is really not a big conversion because 21.73 percent calcium is going to be equivalent 
to 21.73 grams, okay, etc. So that's how what we're going to do. And in the third one, we are going to convert grams to moles, okay. So now this is a little bit of a longer calculation. Not so long, just a little bit more, in which case we have uh, for calcium, 21.73 grams calcium, convert that into moles. And so in one mole, we have um, 40.0808 grams of calcium. And this is equal to 0 0.5422 moles calcium. And then we'll do the same for magnesium. And magnesium is 13.18 grams magnesium. And then find the mass of magnesium. And so, and I'm very sorry, I think I did this the other way around. So let's cross that out. And this is the opposite, which means in one mole, there is um, 40.08, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so grams and grams get canceled out over here. So uh, for magnesium, now we'll do it the correct way, which is one mole divided by 24.31 grams of magnesium, which is equal to uh, 0 0.5422 moles of magnesium. And then do the same for carbon, um, which is 13.03 grams of carbon and to convert that into moles divided by the mass which is 12.01 grams of carbon and this is equal to 1.085 grams uh, moles of carbon and then finally for oxygen which is 52.06 grams of oxygen converting that into moles and the oxygen that we take is 16.00. Remember, this oxygen is not O2. This is a simply O, okay? Just one oxygen element, atom. Uh, 3.254 moles of oxygen. So now we have moles of everything that we need. So then our fourth step is to put uh, everything in order and divide it by the smallest number which the smallest number is 0 0.544. So the formula, calcium, magnesium, carbon, oxygen, okay? And calcium is 0 0.5422, magnesium is 0 0.5422, carbon is 1.085, and oxygen is 3.254. And now we're going to divide it by 0 0.054, to two, sorry, no zero, and that is because this is uh, the smallest number, okay, of all of them. So you have to come to the lowest uh, mole ratio, and to come to that, you have to divide it by the lowest number. So at least you have one element, okay, that is in its lowest numbers, 0 0.5422, okay. So once you have this, and then you go ahead and do the calculation, and hopefully we will come out with something like calcium, which is one, magnesium, which is one, because that is, both of these calculations are going to be one. Um, carbon should come out to be about two, and oxygen will come out to be about six, okay? And so the formula is CAMGC2O6. That is the empirical formula from this calculation.